Hi students, I am Rajnikant, Superstar Rajnikant and today our topic is a novel drug delivery systems is today's topic. Uh, see, I am a big fan of uh, Rajnikant, he is a great actor, great person, uh, great human being also. Okay, right. See here, this picture I will show you, this side picture is a novel drug delivery system. Whereas uh, here, you can see this is a, a old and traditional drug delivery system. There is a two types of drug delivery systems are there. Old and traditional systems are there and novel, new. Novel means new. New drug delivery systems are there. So what is the new? Here, see, new style, new approach, dressing is new, makeup is new, everything is new, style, accent, body language, okay? Everything is new. Here, but basic candidate is the same. Basic drug candidate is the same candidate only, but however, approach, approach of the delivery of a drug into the body is different, is new, something new, okay? Uh, thanks for uh, uh, Rajnika, right? So, uh, that is today's our uh, topic. Yeah, here you can see the novel drug delivery system is a new approach, new approach, see here, approach is new, see how he is approaching uh, my star, uh, and how he is approaching here, the great man, uh, philosopher, great philosopher, uh, to deliver the drug that addresses the limitation. See, old and traditional system, uh, that is a con called as a conventional drug delivery system. It is suffering with some limitations. These limitations can be overcome by the new approach. New approach of the, what is new approach? New approach means delivery of the drug will be new. Everything will be new. What that everything will be new that I am going to be discussing in this uh, video. Okay. This is a definition. Yeah. This is my mobile application that you can be download from the Google Play Store. Okay. Uh, you can be type same format tricks for exam so that you can be download it. And I am offering at the very nominal cost for all the students. Uh, here you can see all my courses. Soon I am going to be uh, GPAT also. You check uh, the app for the GPAT, who are all preparing for the GPAT, that is also I am going to be soon. I will upload. Okay. And here you can see the store. After opening the app, you go to the store option at the bottom. Okay. So if you open that, all uh, you can be find all the my courses, what I am going to be uh, offer, and all my YouTube contents also you can be there. And see here, this is all my uh, uh, playlist, my YouTube channel. This is here you can go to the playlists. There I can, you can find all my videos subject wise, you will get. Uh, if you open this, everything playlists subject wise, then chapter wise will also be there. Yeah. See, most of the students, they are writing a wrong spelling. Novel drug delivery system. N-A-V-E-L, one letter is different. N-A, here N-O is the correct. N-O means novel means new. Novel, N-A-V-E-L means this is. You can see here, see the pointer and see the cursor. This is a, called as a, he's showing the novel. This is called as a novel. Don't write novel drug delivery system. Uh, we are studying the novel drug delivery system, N-O. So we are saying uh, novel drug delivery system, everything is new, new style, new approach, everything is new, new, new. What is that new, new, new? That we are going to be seeing now. See, first of all, I will show you three things. This is also new, this is also new, and this is also new. First one is new delivery systems like a controlled drug delivery system. Controlled drug delivery system comes under the novel drug delivery system only. You have to understand. And students are confusedly asking that, sir, novel drug delivery system comes under a controlled drug delivery system. Like that, they are asking question. No. Controlled drug delivery system comes under the novel drug delivery system. Okay? Right. And the targeted drug delivery system will target, uh, like a brain target will, uh, so drug will go to the brain only, uh, not to the, because our target is brain only. Uh, like lungs target, uh, mucoadhesive drug delivery system, like the drug delivery system. Here, see here, delivery system, how you are going to deliver the drug, that is different. New formulations and new dosage form. See, all you can see the new formulations like a resealed erythrocyte. I am very big fan of uh, uh, resealed erythrocytes. Very good uh, concept, uh, mind blowing concept. That is new uh, released, uh, resealed erythrocyte. Okay? Uh, liposomes. Uh, nanoparticles, so nanospheres, so nano, all these are the formulations, okay? And doses form, new doses form also like uh, accusers, accusers who will keep into the eye just like a contact lens, okay? Metered dose inhalers, buccal tablets, buccal patch, all these are the new doses form, 
old one is traditionally what we are taking a capsule so syrup so emulsion so suspension so that is another common we are not going to that this is new completely new novel drug delivery system and also routes of administration also new see here new routes of administration everything is new except the basic candidate nail route we are delivering the drug through the nail nail okay see just imagine what's the situation how the going and advancedly we are going and i route ocular drug delivery system we will deliver the drug into the eyeball and it through into the system circulation also from that okay yeah here we can see the classification of drug delivery system there is a conventional drug delivery system also called as a traditional drug delivery system this is a old system okay whereas here you can see novel drug delivery system these are two types so we are studying a novel drug delivery system okay right the subject name is novel drug delivery system it is classified into mainly basically four categories uh, here i have showed you controlled drug delivery system drug release will be controlled controlled very controlled okay and not like a dumping whenever you keep in a tablet entire drug will be dissolved and it will be disintegrated dissolved okay it's not like that we are going to be controlled everything will be under our control okay if you say the drug has to release then it will be released otherwise no like that you have to design the targeted drug delivery system brain see here drug particles enter into the brain only not the remaining part of the body because my target is the brain i want to deliver the drug to the brain only because brain only the having a some infection so there i have, i want to solve the problem transdermal drug delivery system through the skin not to the locally systemically the drug will be enter into the system circulation through the skin just imagine in future we will wonder paracetamol uh, ointment also may come because uh, it enters through the skin and it may enter into the systemic circulation also okay and most of the foreigners they will prefer the transdermal drug delivery system only not the oral not the oral tablet generally we are lacking a tablet or capsule too. but foreigners they will like they will prefer the transdermal drug delivery system only it is a big market if you are intelligent in this formulation transdermal drug delivery system you will be the richest person than that of the amazon uh, bejus like that muco adhesive drug delivery system see here this is a mucus layer that we know very well wet surfaces we are delivering the drug through the wet surfaces into the body see this are this concepts we are going to be cover uh, the name of the subject is novel drug delivery system name of the topic is controlled drug delivery system see introduction terminology definition rational reasons reasons why this is better advantages disadvantages and how to select a drug candidate selection of the drug candidate everything we are going to be cover and also concept of a controlled release what is a sustained release extended release time out release delayed release okay and rational here also it is there the rational Uh, behind the design of uh, everything that we will cover in this video yeah very 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 important terminology our concepts of different controlled release not novel here controlled release now we come to the chapter name controlled release see here uh, mainly basically three types are there targeted release number one target so drug will be delivered to the particular organ or particular tissue okay modified release modified modified means we are going to modify the drug release than the conventional drug release see here immediate release drug will be delivered immediately that's why we are going to modify it. we will modify to deliver the drug either immediately or delay see here delayed delivery after some time it will be off its administration drug will be delivered the delayed release controlled release <laughs> okay Uh, like extended release extra time name itself indicate extra time than that of the conventional sustained release longer time than the conventional prolonged release much longer than the sustained release prolonged release prolongedly we are going to be time to release whenever the time or you want as per our predetermined time predetermined time as per we design so whenever zero control order release zero control release it is a independent of all the factors in such a fashion we are going to be deliver the drug delivery will be constant for a longer time it remains constant i will show you the graphs also some of the graphs here you can see this is a drug concentration in the blood uh, y axis x axis is the time 
So first we can see the conventional relief. This is actually conventional relief. Blue color line, okay. Sustained relief, somewhat longer. See, this is somewhat longer. Sustained release. Next, zero order release. Highly controlled. See here, it is sustained, highly controlled. This is third one. Fourth one, time would release. Whenever we see, I want to deliver the drug here at this time. Not this time, not conventional time. This time I want exactly. So I will release, I have to design such a formulation in the control release or novel release. This is it. And uh, pulse tile drug drive, just like a pulse. Our pulse, how will it be? Beat and stops, beat and stops. In the same fashion, it is also remains in the same. Uh, this is, uh, uh, see here. It releases, stops, releases, stops, releases, stops. But however, it, everything will be remained in the therapeutic window only, therapeutic index only. This is a maximum safe concentration. This is a minimum effective concentration that you know everybody know. So you have, we have to maintain the drug concentration within this therapeutic window only. Okay, below this, there is no therapeutic value. Above this, there is a uh, toxicity. Delayed release. See here, six one delayed release. The drug will be delayed release. Okay, so these are all wonderful concepts. Pulsatile time order release, zero order release. Ah, uh, yeah. Here I will show you the one wonderful example of the delayed release. Concept of delayed release. Asthma will attack in the early morning at the time of around three. See here, three thirty four, three thirty four. Asthma will attack at that time. So most of the patients will die due to the asthma in that time. That is called a apnea. Apnea. Okay, right. So what happened here? If the patient has taken a tablet at the night time, it will be delivered in, in such a way only. In the night only it will be delivered. Night will be drug will be absorbed. So it will be circulated throughout the body. But Asthma, when it attacks morning, morning drug is not there. The patient is also unable to take the drug in the morning. He has to put the alarm, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, he has to put the alarm, he has to take the drug. For those patients, delayed concept is the best delayed release concept. See, now what you are doing is, you are, really, you are designing a drug so that what happens, see here, 8 to 12 hours. 8 to 12 hours. So morning, uh, see, night night after dinner, the patient can take a tablet. So, you have designed in such a way that, okay, so drug will, release will be delayed. It will be released after 8 hours or 12, uh, 12 hours. That is exactly at the time of attack of asthma. So, he has to take the drug in the evening, 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever it may be. In that range, if it has taken a drug, that is a dosage form, it will be delivered in the morning. Like that, you are going to be designed. See here, he is not sleeping. He is not sleeping because he is a fear of asthma. He is not sleeping. Time is 3.20. Okay, right. So, for those patients, you have here. Here, rational reasons why we have to go for a CDDS, controlled drug delivery system, or novel drug delivery system. Okay, this is because CDDS comes under the NDDS only. Old and conventional drug delivery system has a lot of drawbacks. Number of these order, these drawbacks can be overcome by the NDDS. So it is essential now. Majority of the drug candidates also having a loopholes or drawbacks. Okay, delivery system as well as a drug candidate. Next, uh, to optimize the biopharmaceutics, so pharmacokinetics, so pharmacodynamics, so everything, all the knowledge you should have. Otherwise, it will be because pharmacy is a multidisciplinary course. Okay, if you want to understand physical pharmacy, you have to understand pharmaceutical engineering. If you want to understand pharmaceutical engineering, you have to understand physical pharmacy. All are interdependent. To maximize the drug utility, to reduce the side effects of the drug, to cure the disease at the earliest, to use the smallest quantity of the drug. Okay, some drugs are having a very shorter half life, like a diclofenac sodium, it is having a two hours. But those sustained release formulations are prolonged release, extended release, we can be do. First pass metabolism is also one of the big problem. Like fentanyl, it is a 30% only, it will be entered into the system circulation, 70% will be in the first pass metabolism. But asthma attack, this is an example. For delayed release, this is the best time. Asthma attacks at early morning. Uh, 
uh, and advantages of control drug delivery system like here you can see the clinical advantages like a reduction in the dose you can reduce the dose by half 50 percent one tablet you can be make into two tablet because you are using such a great system control drug delivery system so dose can be divided so total tablet cost will be divided so at cheaper rate you can be produced in some cases okay uh, dose dosing frequency also can be reduced improved patient compliance because uh, one side a tablet means patient will feel very happy so why i have to take uh, three tablets per day conventional unnecessarily three tablets uh, he is exposing to his body to that three tablet increased drug stability efficacy reduction in the drug level fluctuations in the blood reduction in the drug accumulation in the chronic therapy reduction in the drug toxicity toxicity improved bioavailability all the and commercial advantages you will go for patent because you have new technology you can go for patent and making a huge money you can be make it great market expansion because you only discovered this drug okay name and fame you will get both uh, for launching the new technology product your company easy to get government subsidies government also will happy and the cdds is having a, some of the disadvantages also like if you are not making the correct formulation and if you are making a poor formulations like this entire dose whatever is there it will be dumped at a time see here and at a time it will be this leads to toxic drug toxic cost per unit dose may be higher because you have to concentrate each and every one you have to give a coating for each and every tablet internal coating or micro encapsulation number of techniques are there okay uh, you have to concentrate each and everything. You have to make a low laser holes also on the, on the surface of tablet. Uh, manufacturing time is greater. Uh, needs a high technology, uh, equipments, everything. You have to take a great uh, technology. Poor in vitro in vivo correlation. That's a wonderful concept in the biopharmaceutics. Difficult to optimize the accurate dose and dosing interval. Yeah, this is the selection of the drug candidate. See, all the drugs are not at all suitable for the control drug delivery system. Majority are the suitable, not all. See here, majority of the drug candidates are suitable. These candidates are not suitable. Okay, why? Not all drug candidates are suitable for control drug delivery. Drugs having a following qualifications can be selected for CDDS, like a biological elimination half life must be two to six hours. If it is equal or greater than eight hours, generally not at all suitable. So don't go for sustained release or prolonged release for these type of formulations, uh, for these type of drugs. Drug, drug molecular weight should be around the 150 for uh, spherical molecule and uh, molecular weight should be 400 for a chain-like compounds. Drug solubility must be good as possible, 0 0.1 to 1% solubility is enough. Drug bioavailability should be at least 60%. Okay. Uh, drug steady state, steady state concentration must be low volume of distribution is preferably less okay drug therapeutic window should be broader as possible as possible because if it is narrow drug concentration it may there is a chance of going to the toxic zone or there is a chance of going to the subtherapeutic level it is a very problematic so very carefully you have to be designed for those drugs having a narrow therapeutic window narrow therapeutic index okay just like you are uh, walking on a rope this side, this side, there is a chance of falling. So I will end my session here. Uh, you can be download the app from uh, this one and go to the store option. Right. So in my session here.